very good morning to all my name is sapna i am working as an assistant professor in csc department maharaja agrisen institute of technology in maharaja agrisen university badi today i will be delivering lecture on the topic role of soft computing in data mining and web mining so for understanding what what is the role of soft computing in data mining and web mining let us first go through a few contents that we will cover in this lecture number one introduction then we will know about what data mining is then the software techniques soft computing techniques then data mining through soft computing methods and those methods will include fuzzy logics neural networks neuro fuzzy computing rough set genetic algorithm and also web mining through soft computing so we will study these methods and these computing algorithms okay so first of all it is seen in over the last decade that there is explosive growth in the information available on the world wide web it is a lot of information and data so the rate at which such data is stored is growing at a phenomenal rate due to which the traditional ad hoc mixtures and methods that are of statistical techniques and data management are no longer sufficient for analyzing this fast collection of data so we have to use something some advanced tools to analyze this number of this large data okay so we also know that raw data is really of direct benefit unless until the data is converted into some organized informative information or knowledge it is of no benefit hence raw data is really of direct benefit so data mining is increasingly important branch of computer science it examines data with an order to find and describe patterns so to um, analyze such number of data or such a large data we will use a technique data mining it is identifying and describing examining the patterns in between those data so first of all let's see what data mining is it examines data with an order to find and describe patterns everything in this world is logical and has some patterns the way it is predicted the way it exists everything has some patterns so data mining examines that pattern and find them out it extracts previously un unrecognized information from the data it is just like a bunch of um, if we have a large number of data and uh, it is not recognized that means it is not analyzed it is not examined observed then there could be found more and more information from that data so data mining is a very practical discipline with many applications within business science and government its application could be targeted market web analysis disease diagnosis and outcome prediction weather forecasting credit risk loan approval and many more which include fraud detection and terrorism threat detection data mining could be used for all of these applications so as we all know the data is stored in databases so basically when we are talking about data mining 
we are mining the databases for database mining we also call this database exploration and knowledge discovery in databases now what is knowledge discovery in databases also abbreviated as add so what does this do you can see there is a block diagram first of all we have raw very very large raw database and then that data is sent to the next block which is which will perform data mining on the data number 1 we will do data cleaning then data condensation then dimensionality reduction and then data wrapping now that raw data is processed now right? so the pre processed data is then fed to the next block which is machine learning soft computing soft computing includes these uh, methods computing methods of uh, just like ga that is genetic algorithm and then neural network fl fuzzy logics rs top set so all of these computing algorithm could be used on the pre processed data then um classification of that data then clustering rule then we will generalize them that so generation for that then after executing this block we will have some mathematical model of that data or we can say we will get some patterns of that data then those patterns that are extracted from the large amount of data are now converted into patterns but what we understand is a normal language a linguistic language so the data that is extracted should be now represented in a understandable language so next is knowledge representation then knowledge extraction and its evaluation after representing this we will have some useful interesting visual knowledge from that very large raw database so this is a process in which data mining works and our algorithm our soft computing will work in the third block then the pre processed data is fed to it it will discover or it will um make imprecision decisions too so this kdd technique perform data analysis and may recover important data pattern and contributing greatly to business strategies knowledge bases and scientific and medical research this kdd consist of iterative sequence of following steps so there are a few steps we have also seen this by the block diagram we were discussing earlier okay so iterative sequence for these are number 1 there will be understanding of application domain so every application is created on basis of to to solve some problem right so to solve that problem we we have to understand the domain of that application what is its needs and what solution we are providing to it number 1 then number 2 we have extracting target data sets in a large number of data we should not um rendering for data sets it should be targeted one so we will extracting targeting target data sets extract data and uh, target data sets and then data cleaning and pre processing of the data and data integration reduction and projection in choosing function for data mining then data mining will be performed and interpreting that data okay i hope you uh, now know what knowledge discovery within databases is okay so 
we were talking about the soft computing techniques that will be um, to those soft computing techniques, we will fed that pre-processed data. So how will they compute things? Let's see what is a soft computing technique, first of all. So soft computing is an emerging approach to compute uh, to computing which parallel recovery remarkable potential of human mind to reason and learn within an environment of uncertainty and imprecision. Now, what does this mean? Uh, as we all know, our human brain has networks, neural networks in it, has neurons. So uh, our reasoning capability is much more than a machine. Our, um, we can think about the uncertainties and imprecisions and also make discussion or uh, also make this decisions on that basis. So soft computing enables those machines to to make decisions in a certain way that it can reason or learn within that environment of uncertainty or imprecision. Okay, so um, we have a few computing paradigms that are in soft computing. Number one is neural network. Number two is fuzzy logic. And number three is gen genetic algorithm. So soft computing uses hybridization of these techniques. Now what this word is hybridization. Hybrid basically is a combination of one or two. So if we combine these um, paradigms or techniques, then we will have a hybrid system. A hybrid technique would inherit all benefits of constituent techniques. A hybrid system is an intelligent system that is framed by combining at least two intelligent technologies like fuzzy logics, neural network, genetic algorithm, reinforcement, learning, etc. So basically, hybrid system is a combination of any of two of these or more. Uh, every paradigm has some advantages and some disadvantages also. So if we combine them together, we can get the maximum benefit out of them. That's why we will use hybrid systems. Okay, now data mining through soft computing methods. How these systems, these uh, paradigms, methodologies could be applied on soft computing. So number one, we have these methodologies that is fuzzy sets, neural network, genetic algorithm, rough sets. These are, they are mostly used within data mining in all the KDD processes. So fuzzy sets, now what does fuzzy sets do? Why do we need fuzzy sets? So fuzzy sets provide a natural framework for processing when dealing with uncertainty. Uncertainty is when we don't know the answer that if it is yes or no, but it is in somewhat, uh, it is somewhat in middle of that yes or no then we can't answer that in our binary logics. Then we will use fuzzy logics. And fuzzy logics consists of fuzzy sets. So to deal with uncertainty in any case, we can use fuzzy sets. It can be have neural networks and rough sets that are used for classification and rule generation. As we know, uh, we have generated the mathematical a uh, model of data that is pattern. So for generating that data, that paid pattern, we can use neural networks and rough sets. Next, we have genetic algorithms, which are involved in various optimization and search processes like query optimization and template selection. So GA basically uh, genetic algorithms 
that our uh, natural process, genetic algorithms are uh, involved in biological proce natural processes. So, um, which is a good method for optimization and search processes. Okay, now next come to, let's come to fuzzy logics. If data mining uses fuzzy logics, how it will be used and what will be the need of these fuzzy logics? Fuzzy logic is basically on the observation that people make decisions based on imprecise and non-numerical information. Now, let us um, understand the statement with the diagram. Okay, so if we have hot water and we are asking, is it hot water? In Boolean logic, we can have only two answers. It could be, yes, it is hot. Yes, uh, no, it is not. So if it is yes, in Boolean logic, we will get one for that. If it is no, we will get zero for that. And in fuzzy logics, if we ask, is it hot? Then we will have a number of possibilities between that zero and one, between those yes and no. So it will, it could be very much, now very much, um, there's a degree associated with very much, that is 0 0.9, then you can two hot, very much hot. Little 0 0.25, it's a degree to which that water is hot. So uh, other is very less. So very less, if we say, then the degree is 0 0.9. One so degree of membership is 0 0.1. That means it's very less hot. So fuzzy led logics provide us decisions based on the imprecision and non-numerical information. Okay, so there are two uh, concepts that fuzzy uh, logics within fuzzy logics that play central role for this. Number one is linguistic variable and number two is if then rule. So what linguistic variables are? These are those values that are words or sentences. Um, we can see the example for this. And if then rule within which antecedents and consequents are, propos are propositions containing linguistic variable. And our antecedent is before that, uh, before feeding, um, before feeding that uh, input to the computing machine or computing algorithms. And uh, the after result or the output is the consequent. You can say antecedent is uh, the thing with the input and consequent are the, is the output. So for example, we will, we have if temperature is very cold, then stop fan. It's, it is for a uh, fan regulator. If temperature is very cold, then stop fan. If temperature is cold, then turn down fan. If temperature is normal, then maintain level. If temperature is hot, then speed up fan. So these, uh, as we can see, there is no as. There is no place for else because it could be that it could be, uh, it might be cold and normal at the same time. Yeah. So for this, there should be some condition in else. So to get to that decision, we should have some else rules. Okay. Then we have data mining through neural network. Data mining through neural network. Data mining is an information processing paradigm that is inspired by the human nervous system. As we know, uh, our human brain, our human nervous system is made up of neurons and those neurons are interlinked with each other and uh, the signals and the information is transferred in, in between them those neurons are interconnected with each other. So just like, uh, just like human, 
there is an artificial neural network that will help to take decisions just like human. Okay, neural network helps in mining large amount of data in various sectors, retail, banking, bioinformatics, and it uses neural network to harvest information from the large data sets from data warehousing organization that will help in decision making. Right? So neural network, uh, the neural network that you are, um, that you can see is multi feed forward neural network. So multi-layer feed forward neural network. In this, we will have three layers. You can see first is the input layer, this one. Then we have hidden layer. Then we have output layer. So neural network works in this sense. The input layer will pass information or the data to the other layer, which is the hidden layer. And then hidden layer will further pass that data to the output layer or hidden layer could be, uh, could have many more layers will also be multi feed forward neural network. Okay, these, uh, you can see a ray coming from this node to this node. So these rays carry some weights over them and which will be uh, calculated and adjusted according to the learnings. Then hidden layers. The main thing is the output of this input layer will be the input of this hidden layer. And the output of this hidden layer will be the input for the outer layer. And then we will get some output. So it is. it shows basically the learning technique, how the neural network or the neurons learn. And data mining could be used for this to identify some pattern and make decision. Artificial neural network based classifier is used in this. In this system, a feed forward multi-layer network is used and BPN that is back propagation algorithm could be used for training or for learning. Um, as we can see, there is three. There are three layers: input layer, hidden layer, and output layer. The VPN signal flow would be within feed forward direction, but error is back propagated and weights are adjusted up related to reduce error. We can first of all we will have a feed forward that is just like um, I was saying. Input layer will have some output that will be the input for hidden layer. And the hidden layer will have some output that will be the input for outer layer. So, BPN, when we reach to this output, after getting output, we'll compare this with the target values. If the target values, it, if it is equal to or approximately equal to the target values, um, then we will stop this, but if not, then we will backtrack the system. Then we will backtrack this and adjust the weights so that we will have minimum error here in the output. Um, that error curve is modified according to the gradient of error which points within the direction of local minimum. Okay, so next we have data mining through neuro fuzzy computing. As you can see, it's a combination of two, that is neural network and fuzzy systems. We have studied both. So uh, you will have some understanding of the neuro fuzzy computation. It is basically a hybridization of these two techniques it enables one to build more intelligent decision-making systems. The rule generation aspect of neural network is utilized to extract more natural rules from fuzzy neural networks. Um, you can also see 
examples of these neural training fuzzy systems. Number one, we have the laboratory for international fuzzy engineering research that is in Yokohama, Japan, has a back propagation neural network that derives fuzzy rules. And the system has been successfully applied to foreign exchange trained system with approximately 5,000 fuzzy rules. And Ford Motor Company has also developed trainable fuzzy systems for automobile to uh, control their speed or idle speed controlling. I hope you get the uh, basic idea on the neuro fuzzy computing. Next, we have data mining through rough sets. Now, what rough sets are? They are much similar to fuzzy sets. Um, the approach to discover structural relationship within imprecise and noisy data. They are, uh, as you can see, rough sets and fuzzy sets are complementary in generation of classical sets. They offer mathematical tool to discover patterns hidden in data. It can also be used for feature selection, extraction, data reduction, decision rule generation, and pattern ex uh, extraction. Identifies partial or total dependencies in data, which is the most important thing, the dependencies between the data. So rough sets could be used to find that dependency. It eliminates redundant data. Redundant is a data that is repeated again and again. Give approach to null values, missing data, dynamic data. Dynamic is the data that keeps on changing. So uh, for such data, we can use rough sets. Then we have data mining through genetic algorithm. Genetic algorithm, which is, uh, which is based on natural selection. As we know in um, genetic algorithm, how it works, it is much more similar to the biological natural selection. That is, we all know that uh, an offspring is, um, when an offspring is from the parent and uh, parent uh, chromosomes will combine to form the offspring's chromosomes and those chromosomes contain genes on them and those genes have characteristics. So while choosing between two genes, there is an algorithm applied by the natural selection. There is an algorithm. That algorithm is used in general to find solution, to optimize the uh, solution or to select something out of large number of data. So we can use genetic algorithm in that way. It is a research-based optimization technique based on uh, the principle of genetic and neural selection. GA optimizes a fitness function. Um, it believes in a theory that survival of the fittest. So survival of the fittest, the one with more healthier function or having more fitness function value will be optimized or will be selected. Corresponding to preference criterion of data mining to arrive at an optimal solution using certain genetic operators and knowledge discovery system have been developed using genetic programming concepts. You can also see uh, there's an example of this KDD system that is Meson system. Now, and, the, um, and there is another topic that is web mining. So we have seen data mining and we can use soft computing in that. In similar way, we can also use soft computing for web mining. Now, web mining is application of data mining technique to discover interesting using patterns, usage patterns from the web data with in order to understand and better serve needs of web-based application. 
So uh, in this generation of internet worldwide web, there is lots and lots of data online. And um, to get the best out of that data, there should be web mining. Web, web mining could be done to do that. Usage data captures identity or origin of web users along with their browsing behavior at the website. Now, this web mining can be viewed as four tasks. Number one, information retrieval, the source discovery from where we get that data or the information. The information selection, now that extraction and pre-processing of that data. Then there, that uh, it's generalization, that analysis of that information, then it will reach to us. So web mining basically uh, performs the same thing that data mining does. Uh, it is on web-based application just, and uh, we can also apply those soft computing techniques that is neural network, genetic algorithm, fuzzy logic, rough sets on web that will be on the data which is available online. I hope you get the role of soft computing in web mining and data mining. Thank you so much.